Hello, my wonderful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on your time zone or anytime you are coming across my platform, Linda's TV show. If it is your first time and you like what you are watching, kindly subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when we upload a new video. YouTube, I want to appreciate you for creating this wonderful platform for us to use to disseminate information I always put a disclaimer that this platform, Linda's TV show, do not and will not promote violence, hate speech, misleading information, or what I view. We are here to educate, inform the members of the public about the happening, and also to remind YouTube that a call for self-determination is not a call for what war. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um... Thank you for that. And the media team, if people can look into the uh, uh, reference he made to the broadcast, which I don't know. But one thing I want to tell uh, everyone here and uh, respond to you is that I am re I am over focused, and uh, I'm not distracted. I'm not going to be distracted. And uh, the uh, issue of those who are making broadcast and threatening brimstone, they are going on. They are attacking us, so they are doing this. They have nothing to attack, or attack us. They don't have what it, what it takes to even attack, you know, uh, a small a small uh, base of the African Liberation Army. They don't have what it takes. They don't. They don't. They can't dare to do that. They have not. They have. You see, they have the uh, stand Nigeria police or army to talk to come and attack us. <laughs> so all those things are just uh, the propaganda that the criminals are trying to use as if they they don't have guns. We have the guns. You know, or no. this uh, is this this uh, uh, went to that they are using to shoot in those days when they are shooting uh, uh, cows in the bush. Pa, pa, pa. Is that what they are going to use to come and fight, and fight us? Forget all those things. But one thing is that I am not going to, uh, you know, uh, condone or support any attack against any Biafra person. But whoever that comes to Biafra Liberation Army camp in the name of uh for nigeria government you will die there that's all but we are never going to raise our arms against those who who are deceiving people that are fighting for nigeria but when they come to us they will die that's one thing i want to make very clear what they are trying to do is to put us into internal uh you know to start uh, fighting each other and they will say hey, you see they are fighting each other and that is the contract they have taken so when you see them coming to radio biafra and start speaking like that is to see whether i am going to react and then say okay we'll kill them we are going to go and fight them and they will say you see and then by that they distract our focus which is on the nigeria terrorist army police and all of them that's what they, that's what they have collected money to do but like you know anybody who have come close to me who knows me very well i am not moved by all those nonsense because i know their capacity they don't have any capacity they don't have any men anywhere so that is number one so if they have men I uh, will be saying, okay, they have men. Even if they have men, do they have gone? They don't have gone. They don't have men. What is happening now is who have the biggest and most sophisticated weapon is the person that is in the game. If you don't have it, you have nothing to offer. And as far as, as this Biafra Liberation is concerned, the Biafra Liberation Army have overpowered Nigerian military with their more powerful firepower. So where is their firepower? The people that have contributed money for many years and there is nothing to show for it. They don't have any weapon. When we came in, there was nothing. We started building this army you see today. And today, we can fight helicopter. We can fight fighter jet. We can fight gunboat. We can fight uh, uh, armored tank. We can destroy them, decimate them. Every day it is happening from scratch. So my brother... When uh, they can use the whatever brokers to, you know, do their pro pro propagate their whatever they are, the media team are doing, but those things uh, doesn't move. It's just for people to understand that uh, what they are trying to do is to cause internal conflict, and then they, they will use it to distract us and say, "Oh, you see, they are fighting each other internally." And uh, so, internal Idoakanono is going to come, but not now. My focus is to get the Biafra liberated, declare it, and defend it, and then. Internal, internally, we are going to deal with them. Another thing is that 
as we are doing it, if they come, oh, they will collect. Anybody crosses any any base of Biafra Liberation Army will never go back alive. Be you who, in the name of coming to attack them, you will die there. Thank you. Thank you, my PM. Thank you so much, uh, Simon. You've gotten that. Thank you. All right, we are giving you the microphone, uh, Biafra Sisu Queen. Please go straight to the point. Uh, 60 seconds, bring your question to the Prime Minister. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, my goals. And, and, and uh, sorry, sorry I, before, sorry on, before, so sorry before she uh, uh, continued. I was, that's a comment I wanted to make in addition to what I have said before. And uh, everybody should understand that before the treacherous idiot four was sacked, I have been exposing that idiot, that criminal who sold onion to Mazenamdi. And Ejo four single-handedly orchestrated the whole thing, and later on. The criminals in DOS joined him. So when I was exposing a job for uh, many people who think clearly understand that I was right. And I said, any day job for is out of onion the team. His freedom is close. And that is what is going to happen. Today, a job for is out. And let me tell you. Now that the four is out, you know what they were telling you before. Oh, uh, the, you have to contribute money. Are you paying the lawyer? Are you are you the one paying the lawyers? That has been what they were using to scam those illiterate that are following them. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, what are you doing to release onion? Are you the one paying lawyer? Pay which lawyer? Today, when the message of uh, four has been communicated to them. They knew that the Jofo is no longer part of the uh, uh, legal team. So there is no any other way to scam their friends. You know what they do? They rushed and start gathering boys to make video. We know how they do it, to make video and share. This is not what they have been doing for many years. They do video, shoot cow in the, in the forest. They will go to the forest and start shooting cow. Pa, 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 pa. Hey, yes, and yes, yes, yes. They were scamming their friends. So they got out, uh, but even all those guns they were using to do pack up all those, all those times, they have submitted it to all the governors. When the military mass in Americano was kidnapped, all those guns, they surrendered all of them. And if there is any person still following them during that time, and now, still following them now, no, blindly, no, they will understand what I'm saying. That immediately they captured Onyendu, they, they collected all those Ebento uh, from all of them and submitted it to the government as the a fulfillment of the agreement they had so they have not they don't even have that event today so now immediately they had they got that uh, 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 you know a memo from uh, onion internally what did they do they have to look for another means to start collecting money that was why you see them gathering people snapping video making videos snapping pictures and then all of a sudden they started saying esn fund raise money for esn for the past three years, they did not raise money for ESM because they were using the lawyer to raise money. They said, oh, you are the one, no? You are not the one paying the lawyer. So for contribute money, let us pay the lawyer. Now the lawyer is not there. They don't want to use, they don't know what to use again to say contribute money. Now they go back to, oh, there is ESN here. There is nothing like ESN anywhere. ESN has been collapsed to the Biafra Liberation Army and Biafra Resistance Fighters. Anybody parading himself as ESN is a criminal. And the only thing they want to do is to use them to implicate onion and that can never happen as far as i'm concerned so now they are trying to start raising funds using the ESA because the lawyer paying the lawyer is no longer there the job four has been sacked it is official uh -huh. so it's no longer oh we are paying lawyer we want to do this now they want to use it for ESN that doesn't exist anywhere so what they do now all the people you see now are people doing kidnapping for them like many of them who have been arrested, they confessed of uh, doing kidnapping for China Samoru, this idiot, this criminal in Kuwait. And you know, nobody has. You have, did you see? Have you seen where Nigeria government or police, you know, mentioned his name anywhere, including where his name was mentioned from one Ejima kidnapper? Did you hear anybody calling China Samoru name in any way? Because he was in agreement with all of them after the military decision to stop Biafra. Now they have struggled to stop Biafra. It did not. They did not succeed. So they still got our boys promising the government that they are going to use those boys to fight Biafra Liberation Army. And I just wonder how they want to do that kind of thing. Because if they try, at the end of the day, try to provoke us, 
but it will never go into we will not give them that opportunity until we have declared Biafra and restored Biafra. Then I have to say Hakon on. Like I said in my bro in my State of the Union address, that the army of Congo will be eliminated. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh Ebu PM. Oh my dog, yeah. Oh Guinea. Oh Guinea. Hey! Oh, Guinea. Oh, God, no good. Hey, I'm oh, Guinea. Now, Biafra, Queen, please take the microphone. I wish you could shout like uh, Adabi Arama, exclaim, Baba Tobi. Go ahead, Biafra, Warrior Queen, take the microphone. Ah, Tobi! Oh, Dogu! Greetings. 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 My king, greetings. Uh, my cause, I no get question because now we they answer the question. We, we now we they direct people with that they vote online with us since. So I no get question. I just need to contribution. So you're giving me some more time back. No, no time, no, no time. Don't take some more time, please. Take just yeah, no, take too much time. You're giving me uh, yes. Thank uh, you very much, please. Uh, thank you, my honourable prime minister. Thank you very much. God will bless you for what you they do for us. Now you have a Google language, and our man as this all says, I greet you, sir. Thank you for all you are doing for us, for protecting us, for fighting for us, for being in the war front for us. Your name will be written in, in the store, in every any any part, any uh, public place in the uh, Biafra land. We will we will serve you and your and your and your men that are fighting for us. God will bless you. And uh, our people are uh, uh, fully angels. Thank you very much, my ministers in the house. Just uh, so a little co contribution, like people, because this is uh, not because people are very many here now because of our prime minister. They come to ask some questions. As my brother asked me that question yesterday, that people are asking them, and our prime minister make uh, reference to it. Please, if they are asking you, uh, security that security is their data secure, ask them if you can give your NIN, if you get NIN, go and vote because. If you can give your data, that NIA, they force you to do NIA. They force me to do it because I couldn't have access. I don't think that access to my bank account again. NIA, they forced me to do it because I didn't have NIA. I couldn't have access to my account and all those things. Now I go force myself. Go now. They block my, my my SIM card and others. So nobody is forcing you to vote, but think wise and go and vote. And uh, another thing, please. For those for those of those of us who will be customers, we will still get that uh, mentality. Say uh, they are coming for our our uh, oil. Oil Guinea, which oil? As our prime minister talked before about uh, uh, GDC, just imagine. Do you know how many human resources we have? And just imagine, uh, like experience I have in Italy, they don't they, they not get uh, oil. But do you know how much tourists bring to their land a year, a, every year? In three months, they will they will uh, make people that have uh, that live close to the sea for beaches for 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 holidays. Tourists bring, they will uh, work money that will that will last them for a year for just three months of sun with the get. Imagine we that have twelve months uh, uh, sun. Just imagine our government after cleaning all our coastal region. All our sea, our folly waters. In, there are a lot of secret uh, tourist uh, place in Biafra land. A lot of beautiful places Thank in Biafra you. land. Just imagine they, 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 they restore everything and build uh, hotels. Tourists alone will build in uh, your, your your community without uh, you. spilling oil to to give you cancer and every other sickness. So that is what I just wanted to contribute. And please, I beg, just give me another thirty seconds. I don't first see this song before me. I also got for my prime minister beg. I beg. I fit. Go ahead. Simon Ekpa has done for me. He has done for me. He has done for me. He has done for me. What my mother cannot do. He has done for me. What my father cannot do. He has done for me. What Nigeria terrorists cannot do. He has done for me. Thank you very much for all you are doing for us. God will continue to bless you in the mighty name of Shikwa Kiki. He said, 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 he said
Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Great one. 555 Vision, please take the microphone. Paul, please. Are you there? Yes, yes, yes. I'm here. I'm here. Pastor Vam 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 Abalawa, our able minister, <laughs> the prime minister. I greet you, but continue to bless and strengthen you. Yeah, I just want to share some one of my own feelings concerning everything that is happening. So, concerning this referendum, which you gave us the opportunity to vote. Since I left Nigeria, I have never been happy. Since I left Nigeria, no matter the, the life we enjoy in Europe, I never feel natural happy. But the day I received the link to vote, filling the form, when I got to the place I should vote yes, immediately I click that yes. I am telling you, straight joy flowed inside my body. When I click confirm, I confirmed that today I have voted for Biafra and the, the certificate of voting for Biafra has been given to me. I am telling you, the blood of joy flowed inside me. The blood of hope flowed inside me. The blood of returning home flowed inside me. That is what, how personally, how I feel on my own. Hope returned. That the defending of Biafra, which I took out, I have been able to fulfill it. I have voted for Biafra which I took out as an IPOBO member. I have voted for this Biafra. PM, Obatobie, Njoko, Mechuku Kikabiam continue to give you more strength. May he increase you more with more than 10,000 people's wisdom until we get Biafra and the building. As it is written, that he will build Biafra for good 75 years, non-stop, until Switzerland will become like a village. I thank you especially. I thank all our ministers. I thank all lovers of freedom. PM, we know what you want from us. You don't need to tell us anymore what you need from us. You will, will, you will be watching the game. Even the dead people in their fan land is voting today. The joy has returned. Everybody is asking where is the link? Because nobody wants to be slave anymore. May Chukul Kadama continue to bless you as you have given us this opportunity to vote for that which we believe, for that in which we say we will die for, and you have given us that opportunity to vote for that. Nigerian government, remove referendum. Act of Nigerian, uh, act of Nigerian constitution to put us inside the everlasting cage. But today, the camel back has been broken. Today we are passing the referendum. They say that we are, that a, a village is now voting for Igbo referendum. 40 states of Biafra is made up by Igbo. All of them, they tie to Rapa. All of them have a Keori Afonpo. Today, Nigerian government is now telling you that everybody is Igbo. The 40 states is Igbo. They have confirmed it. The chain of divide and rule has broken. Let me leave the mic here because we still have a lot of work to do. On the public. Thank you, my PM. May God continue to strengthen you. Thank you. We love you. Thank you very much, uh, Fusion 555. And, uh, you know, in addition to what you've said, uh, 
those of you who have the opportunity to come to Finland, remember it is very, very important to come to Finland so that you are also going to have your signature signed on the declaration of the restoration of independent state of Biafra. So if we have 1,000 people in Finland, that 1,000 people signature will be appended on the do declaration document. It's going to be an exercise that will, the world will talk about. We are making this particular history to be solid that with anybody, including those who don't want to hear Biafra, when they know and finally hear with the water, water we will give Nigeria. And they will be asking the activities of the Biafra government in exile. When they see what we are going to do in Finland, they will marvel. So it is an opportunity, not just to, you know, uh, vote, but for those who have the possibility to come to Finland. This is a very important opportunity for you to have your signature in on the document of the this declaration of the restoration of independence of Biafra, just like the America, Americans did, uh, did it in the 1776 declaration. The Congress, about 50 something of them, they appended their signature. Our own is peculiar, it's very different. So everybody who will come to Finland will be a delegate to whichever region, country you are coming from. You will come as a delegate and your signature will be there and we are going to make it public and official and it will be also in every official document as the, as the mandate, the affirmation of the mandate that the Biafra has given to us from this self-referendum. So if we don't understand what is coming, there is no way Nigeria will survive even before the middle of this year. And I want everybody to understand that we know that is a coup ongoing in Nigeria. But you know what is stopping them from executing the coup? This Biafra liberation. They are scared. They don't know what Samanekba is going to do if they announce a coup in Nigeria. <laughs> but one thing I don't know is that Eteroba, Eterose, Wotewu Manyodo, Nawotodo, Manyewu is the same thing. There is no escape route. Plan coup, we are gone. Don't plan coup, we are gone. It does not matter how you do it. You have demonstrated beyond everything that everything we are doing today is validated by the impunity of the Nigeria state against the African people. So that standard has been met. It is not only when you plan coup and announce it that you say, oh, this is a very good reason you know, if someone like declare Biafra today, the world will support him. No, the world will support us whether they like it or not. They have no choice. With what Nigeria has become today, the world have no choice. I am telling you Biafra people, they have no choice than to support the Woto Woto we will give Nigeria in the coming months. Thank you. Uh, Prime Minister, before the next speaker takes the mic, um, you've just said something about uh, their intended coup. We want you to see, make them understand something. How will an army that has been infiltrated of uh, over 100,000 Boko Haram terrorists that have been reintegrated into the army, police, air force, and navy carry out a coup like Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger, and others, and then have a successful coup. PM, over to you, please. Of course, that is not possible. But one thing is, and that is why they are finding it very difficult, because they are also divided within themselves. The terrorists from the northern Nigeria that are in the army, are not very happy with the drug lord from uh, Central Africa Republic because Tinubu is from Central Africa Republic. 
Many people don't know this. Tunubu is not a Nigerian. All of them, they know the secret of each other. Shatema is not from a, he is not originally from Nigeria area, and he Shatema knows that Tunubu is not a Nigeria, and Tunubu knows that Shatema is not a Nigeria. So what is happening is so, only few, only some certain class of people knows what I'm saying now. So Nigeria military that has been infiltrated by terrorists can never conduct a peaceful and successful a successful uh, coup because they are divided as i'm talking to you today and that is also a plus to us we have decimated them in biafra land and we decimate them anywhere within nigeria when the whole water water will start to the it go to the next level so i want to uh, uh you know inform biafrans to come down and watch as things unfold. Only thing we need is your support and less distraction. At this point, is the only thing we need is exposition that or so discussion that will add to what is happening and what we are doing. Not any gossip and let the media team focus on making sure that the information I have passed here today goes to everybody who is on social media and interested to hear anything about Biafra. Pick the things I am saying here, and many suggestions and, and opinion of many people here, and let it be your topic in this space, in your broadcast, until it sink why this self-referendum is ongoing and continue to go until May, when we're going to have, uh, when the first stage of the referendum will stop. And then we're going to assess, reassess the situation and prepare for the second stage. Thank you. Bam, 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 over to your place. Thank you, my able information minister, and more grace and more power to you, my powerful His Excellency Prime Minister Mas Simon Epa. Amauche, please take the microphone. Please let me kick back, back, back before the Prime Minister would, uh, you know, get done with us. We want to take enough uh, questions. Please, questions this time. Let's uh, forget accolades. Give questions. Amauche, please. Amauche, you seem not to be there. Uh, please, uh, Eunice, take the microphone, please. Eunice. Yay! Thank you! Thank you! My Prime Minister! Uh, bam, bam, bam. I'm here. I'm here. No, My I'm Prime here. Minister! I'm here. Hello, bam, bam, bam. Hello? Bam, mute yourself first, please, Amuche. Go ahead, Eunice, please. Oh, go on. Go on, Eunice. Oh, thank yeah, you. Mochi, oh. ladies first. So, I'm Mochi, ladies first. Eunice, go on. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you know, yes. Eunice, why, why are you excited as if you won a jackpot? What is happening to yeah, you? I won a jackpot. Are you serious? Like, seriously? You're kidding me? I'm uh, Pastor uh, 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 let, let me <laughs> lord have mercy i don't know what where to start yes i actually won a jackpot yesterday when i when i think that yes Hannah, i felt like i won gold i'm telling you the gospel truth my prime minister our able prime minister oh but oh but oh oh the joy is overwhelming, eh? Okay, okay. That's it. Uh, this is a uh, hundred one million men in one. I know I don't sound like a a, a, a no. but greetings, my greetings, God, greetings, greetings. trust greetings, me, greetings. we love you. Thank you so much. You. I yesterday when I was um casting the votes i was like i was shivering like oh my god immediately i click on that yes and it showed you vote you voted i felt like oh this in fact i'm already in biafra and um, you know what my parents they voted my siblings my mother-in-law every member of my family in fact you are the bomb we greet you we greet you oh god daddy ma Mazi Simon no Korabia de Ma and in so pagina. Okay, Ma 
My 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 prime minister. My now this can accolade they make Nigeria run mad. Yeah, they got a run mad. My prime minister didn't hear any didn't hear any background voice. That's my father. My Abu father, he's a veteran. He's a Biafran veteran, and he loves you so much. My mother-in-law is also here. They, they, they are singing for you. My mom also is here. My dad wants to say a little word to you. We are not going to take time. Just a little word. Oh, my Abu Prime Minister, God bless you. Bless you. We are here to finish what you started. Yes. Thank God for you. You see, when the war ended in 1970, I thought every hope has lost. But I never knew that God was planning for something bigger. Thank God that I'm still alive to witness the restoration of uh, Biafra, which we fought for. I fought with the Biafran army, Otaka Battalion, 15th at Onimo. That was our uh, divisional headquarters. I was captured by the Nigerian troops at the end of the war. We are sent to Portacol prisons on detention from January to March of that 1970 we were in detention at the Portacol prisons but thank God at his own appointed time we were released thank God for what is happening now keep it up God is in control. Victory is ours. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Hello. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, uh, you must know that uh, uh, this is the foundation that you and your group have laid. Those of you who have fought in the 60s and was compelled by the war crime committed by the nigeria and british you know and made you people to surrender you did not surrender because uh you don't have arms you did not surrender because you don't have the strength to fight you did not surrender because the france were being killed by bombs and bullets you surrendered because of war crime committed against our children and instead of you to look at those children dying like that you surrendered and gave up Mm -hmm. And so it must be recorded and put on record very straight that Biafra did not lose the war as a result of unable or inability to fight, but as a result of the starvation that orchestrated the death of over 3 million children. That was the reason many of you dropped your weapon. But one thing we, the new generation, are promising you people today is that what led to the blockade of Biafra will never happen again. Mm -hmm. Amen. Those, those loopholes has been blocked and it can never ever happen. The second thing, the second thing we have done is that when you left after the war, you are not the only one. Many of you left, and the government of Biafra followed you to exile. Thank you. We started by restoring the government in exile, and now we are going to restore the Biafra, which you declared from 1967. And many nations recognize Biafra as an independent state. That Biafra, we are now restoring. And Thank the declar you. declaration of the restoration of Biafra will happen in November this year in Finland. Yes, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Wow. 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 Hello, Pastor Van, Van. Okay. My mom wants to say a little word, please. Okay. Yeah, we are thinking. Nde wonu. Omochineke ka chineke na ha Jesus. Amen. Amen. Ana make le une ekele. Prime Minister ye o te la na cho otunge si kutu oku ka nu olu. Ana ma nu olu ki nu to olu. Chineke gozunu. Ihe unu na eme ojura ya fo. Chineke onye unu na asavu. Na umu mmadu ndi unu na asavu. Azim chineke ya gozunu. To ka ti unu ke le bi ko onye abula. Oku chineke msi. Odige ngwa awo obula akpuru megidu unu ke ga ga nko ma. Amen. <laughs> Well, <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, didn't I mean that's the thank name you. my mother in law gave you? Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very God much. Bless you. Bless, bless you too. Bless you all. Thank you very much. What a wonderful beautiful family. Thank you very much. Ben Chooks. Oh, didn't I mean I beg those that are calling the names of my prime minister. Go and get a bigger uh Bugo, that higher education because before we restore Biafra when I go record names there he say he say he say <laughs> he say <laughs> oh. <laughs> please take the microphone 60 seconds bring your question please yeah thank you so much thank you honorable ministers uh thank you PM you are doing wonderful extremely wonderful uh, I cannot uh, hide myself from saying it. Uh, somebody, somebody has uh, asked a, a vital question which you have already given us an answer about the portal who is in charge. Uh, please, I'm uh, just appealing to you, like what you tweeted today about a uh, 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 alert on our attack on our people on the hinterland. Uh, can you please uh, give more, uh, uh, a kind of more, uh, more, advice to for people in the hinterland so that they, 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 they may be very very careful to see how they can protect themselves in helping other other people to to make their cast their own votes thank you so much uh thank you very much well um uh, the vote so far so good is going very well in biafra territory and uh, and uh, people are voting from the comfort of their zone of their home and so we have have we have recorded uh, highest number from Biafra land the uh, issue of the security alert is that we are always uh, awake especially on the issue of security so when we know that they are coming we will if uh, there is a need to inform the people we will inform them and uh, whenever we inform our people that uh, they are coming remember just know that we are also ready for them so it is not uh, just for the people to be aware that uh, there may be shooting you know and it's going to be open confrontation between them and the biafra liberation army so and uh, so we don't want any civilian to get hurt that's why whenever that uh, intel comes that they are coming we will make it public for our people to take precaution and then also be very security conscious so they don't uh, get hit by bullet uh, so and of course you know in, uh, in in addition to that so they don't uh... thank you so much my wonderful viewers for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end like i said before if you like what you see here if you like what i do in this platform as you have finished watching this video, please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notification. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. Share my videos, leave your comments in the comment section constructively. Until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.